Hello everyone and welcome back to Tango Simulations. Uh, this time around we're gonna take a look at the ARP UI just like I promised in my Mac UI video. And first and foremost you might be able to observe some changes uh, immediately. I'm not really sure what it is but I think Mac UI is still using an outdated uh, aspect ratio because everything in ARP UI feels just a little bit more sharp and just a little bit more widescreen. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but if you go and watch both videos back to back, everything looks cleaner, everything looks sharper, and one thing that I really like about this mod is that it also seems to provide some sort of anti-aliasing solution, which again, it might be just sharpness. Uh, I don't know, I really don't know what's going on, but yeah, immediately Arb UI makes the game look a lot better than Mac UI. Another immediate improvement is the map. This full screen map is godsend. It really is godsend. I love it. Uh, and you can see, of course, as always, various different uh, cards and stuff that is, uh, you know, native to this uh, to this uh, UI mod. Lots of additional tools, of course. A very good nomograph again. And besides the additional little cards, uh, also the the basic tools are awesome. I uh, granted uh, they don't come immediately with uh, helper tools. So you have to activate this uh, tool helper thingy. So now you can see that again we have uh, the additional instruments that uh, Mac UI had. And once again, I can't really understand why that is, but everything looks a lot cleaner than in Mac UI. I, I just don't quite understand that. If you guys know the answer to that, please let me know down in the comments section below. Why does Arb UI look so much more clean, so much more sharp in terms of resolution? Resolution is what I mean. Than Mac UI. Is it is it the aspect ratio? What is it? Um and uh you know attack map pretty similar, there's not really a lot to discuss here. Uh if we go to the attack periscope Similarly to Mac UI, you've got the same functions, you've got uh, all the buttons uh, grouped together, um, you know, same orientation for the chronometer, the tubes are all here, um, you, can also use, you can also use the compass for some reason, which I find it uh, distracting, I don't want to use the compass in the attack periscope, but uh, it is what it is, and I'm also not a fan of the TDC button, because it doesn't really offer uh, the same amount of feedback. Mac UI does so yeah that's that's a bit of a problem in my opinion uh, other than that we've got again the same things that we've got in Mac UI lots of different cards and flags and um, the same of course is true on the uh, on the navigation map as well now where Arb UI completely differentiates itself from Mac UI and I regret to say I'm not a very big fan of it is the uh, is the periscopes. Now, the periscopes in UI follow the same design philosophy as uh, Hitman's uh, periscopes, which are a lot more historically accurate than, uh, than Mac UI. Um, and, uh, and the periscope itself is looking just fine. However, it only has six times magnification. Right now, I can just barely spot a Union Jack on that ship's flag. If I move to the cargo over there, I don't see shit. All I see is a dark red thing. So obviously I know that my enemies have red flags. It's still not enough to identify this ship and know and know for certain that I can attack it. So that's a very big disadvantage. Um, observation periscope, for all intents and purposes, it looks the same. The graticles do change, however. You can see that the periscope design is a little bit different. And you know what? I can live with all these periscope changes. What I can't live with is this. This is the UZO. I supposedly just had this straight line. No markings, no nothing. Uh, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is that, first and foremost, the UZO is a binocular type optic. It's not just a single eye optic like the periscope and um, I know that they might be simulating just you know what one eye sees but it's wrong you should be able to see a combined picture additionally from what I know the UZO in real life had more magnification than this this is six times magnification 
It's useless. And finally, take a look at this. The UZO, because it's mounted on a stable sort of uh, platform, shouldn't move around. Especially in these conditions, it's mounted low, near the waterline. Uh, and uh, in these cases, where we have a perfectly smooth sea, uh, we shouldn't be moving as much as we are. Because right now, we are moving as much as we are moving with a damn periscope. So, essentially, you're telling me that this that this UZO is not a UZO and it's just another periscope. So why use the UZO? Why surface and do a surface attack? I may as well be always submerged and always use the attack periscope. And finally, the latest version of RBUI seems to have a problem with the binoculars, this one right here. Uh, there is a solution for that, don't worry. Uh, I have a patch available, but the thing is that uh, I'm not a fan of the binoculars uh, in our UI in general, I prefer the binoculars in um, in Mac UI, and in fact, I I prefer the, the entire the entire optics. So all the periscopes, all the UZOs, all the binoculars, I prefer them in Mac UI. So while I really like this, while I really love this map, and while I also really enjoy all the all the extra blips, and also the fact that just a little bit cleaner, just a bit more. Uh, sharp and precise in our UI. The sad truth is that I prefer Mac UI over this one. Now, I don't exactly know if I'm going to use this one or Mac UI for my career. Uh, the first part of the career, the first sortie was uh, recorded with, um, with Mac UI. I may record the second sortie with our UI. But that's why I made this comparison video for you guys to help you possibly reach a decision. Uh, on the Mac UI versus RBUI issue. Uh, feel free to use whichever you prefer and also feel free to explore other uh, UI solutions, maybe a different UI, like for example, Anerbay UI or Hitman's Optics, maybe something you're more interested at. At any rate, this is Tengu signing out. Good hunting.